for Auckland and for Shakespeare Open Sanctuary, the 29th of April 2017 was a day to celebrate as little spotted Kiwis returned to the mainland. 10 males from Tiritiri Matangi and 10 females from Kapiti Island travelling by air and sea have arrived on the day. But before moving into their new home, the birds have radio transmitters fitted. Over the next days and months, the park volunteers will tramp the hills and gullies of the park with radio receivers plotting the Kiwi's position and status. Next, those that made this translocation happen will have their chance to greet the birds. And it's a great day because for the first time since the 19th century, the late 1800s, we are going to see little spotted kiwis reintroduced on the mainland here in Auckland. And that's a great day to celebrate. So can I acknowledge all of those who have been involved with the hard work and all of those who had the vision to actually bring back these kiwis, the second rarest species of kiwi and the smallest kiwi uh, to our mainland areas. <laughs> The Kiwis, now out of their boxes, return to the crowd. For New Zealanders, getting up this close to our very special national bird is rare and emotional. Wow, that is not what I expected it to feel. <laughs> then, as the rain sets in, the last stage of the journey begins. Kiwis are nocturnal, so they're not too pleased to be out and about during the day. But they are here, relatively calm, at being handled by the train handlers. And even show their sense of occasion by tolerating a couple of last photo opportunities. Does it know it's a mainlander now? <laughs> However, that occasion for the first to be released was a bit too much, and he makes a run for it. <laughs> no harm done. He's an expert in finding hiding places. All the Kiwis are safely tucked into their scrubby burrows before night. Then, overnight, they will come out to explore their new sanctuary home.